Hello friends and viewers, this is Ghost in the Show and today I will be sharing some of the research and information I have found about the old Monster Galaxy franchise and its plans for it. So it is 2012 and Guy Interactive had just released Monster Galaxy The Zodiac Islands and it was a popular mobile adaptation. Great success! Gaia is doing good because, you know, the world wasn't really ending. And now their somewhat roadmap can be seen here. So they plan to make a mobile sequel and ta-da! It is Monster Galaxy Exile and that's not enough. So Gaia had partnered with several other business establishments such as Radar Pictures and Yen Press to develop more for the franchise, a Monster Galaxy manga series, and an animated movie. So Yen Press, an American manga and light novel publisher, had made a deal to produce a three-volume manga series set in the world of Monster Galaxy. Its first chapter was expected to be released on October of 2012 and its volume 1 will be available at retail booksellers in July of 2013. The manga series was created by Paul Morrissey as the storyboard and writer for the manga and Melissa De Jesus as the lead art and illustrator for the manga. Previews of their work for the manga chapters 1 and 3 can be found on the Google. Release of the graphic novel was of course delayed and the first chapter was released around May of 2013 and was available online in various retailers, followed by chapter 2s and 3. And that was their second plan for the franchise. I found an old concept cover from Melissa de Jesus, Davian Page, and was able to contact both Melissa and Paul to gather information about the development and what happened to the manga series. There was an initial plan for a chapter 4, 5, 6, and 7, as well as a volume containing all 7 or maybe 10 chapters of the manga series. But Gaia had pulled the plug and cancelled the series. There was no word about what's the reason why it was cancelled. Gaia had a third plan and partnered with Radar Entertainment to develop and release an animated movie with the aid of acclaimed scriptwriter Reinhard Dunke, but there was no word about its development and plan for this animated movie other than several copy-paste articles mentioning Monster Galaxy Facebook, Radar Entertainment, and Reinhard Dunke. One and a half out of three of the anticipated plans were done for Monster Galaxy, a unnecessary mobile sequel which had so much potential. 3 out of 7 chapters of a graphic novel adaptation who had little marketing, possibly sales and management conflict, and had little to no information about the mobile picture adaptation. Hey there friends and viewers, I would really appreciate if you would click the subscribe button. We're so close to 1000 subscribers, it helps the channel a lot, thanks. So this part, I would share some of the short exposition from the old Monster Galaxy comic taken from various online sources. With never before seen monsters and encounters with some of your favorite characters from the game, manga adds a whole new dimension to Monster Galaxy. In a land populated by creatures called Moga, those with a skill practicing taming these Moga capturing them in star seeds and pitting them against each other in battle, 13-year-old Avery would love nothing more than to become a Moga Tamer. But he's needed at home, and there's no way for his overprotective mother will let him pursue a dangerous career with the Moga Rangers. Avery and his little sister Dawn have kept their Moga Taming inspiration a secret, but the alignment of the 13 Zodiac planets has sent hundreds of Moga raining down from the heavens. And it's going to be tough for Avery and Dawn to keep their secret when a lord of brand new Mogas is all around. Avery would love to enter the annual Moga taming tournament, but the odd jobs he can pick up around town don't pay nearly enough to cover the entry fee. But with his family needing some serious cash after a violent storm literally taking the roof over their heads, Avery steps up his game. Alone, there are only so much he can do in a day. But using his Moga, Avery can practice taming and fill his pockets at the same time. His savings spent, Avery hopes of entering the annual tournament have all been withered away. 
But just as before, it seems his Moga may hold the answer to his money woes. However, unexpected and gross, the source disguising himself, Avery is off the tournaments. Expose, Avery's mask may have fooled most of the tamers at the tournament, but best friend Percy has learned the truth. Percy has a million questions, but in the middle of battle, there's no time for chatting. With Avery's precious belt of star seeds in Jezebel's clutches, he and Percy are going to need to form an alliance if either one of them wants to survive the tournament. The alignment of the 13 zodiac planets has sent thousands of star seeds raining down on Nira, carrying with them potential for all new Moga. When an odd looking star seed splashes down just off the coast of the Crashing Crags, Dawn dives in after it and carries it back to the land. Claiming first dibs on taming it, but what or maybe who was slumbering inside is unlike any Moga they've ever seen. Chapters 6 and 7 have a copy paste exposition of chapter 5 and have no information about chapter 8, 9, 10 and volume 2 and volume 3. There will be part 2 for this discussing the story of the old Monster Galaxy manga and how it correlates to the latest story of the Monster Galaxy comic made by Stephanie and Locke. Do hope you enjoy my research about the old Monster Galaxy manga and the franchise and if you want to check out my Twitch, I am probably live right now since I have uploaded. And part 2 of this will come out about next week or next next week. Hope you all have a wonderful day and see you on the next show.